Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning about headaches, the next in the neurology series. So in this presentation, we're going to cover the three types of headaches, which is migraines, cluster headaches, and tension headaches. We'll be covering the pathophysiology, the risk factors, the way it presents some potential differentials, how we'd investigate it, and the management. So let's start. So migraines are a unilateral type of headache, and they happen on both sides of the head, which typically lasts between four to 72 hours. They're quite throbbing and pulsatile in nature. The risk factors can be remembered with the mnemonic chocolate. Um, so C standing for chocolate, hangovers, orgasms, caffeine or cheese, the oral contraceptive pill, lions, alcohol, traveling and exercise. So migraines are typically worse with physical activity. They can also present uh, with or without aura, which is a type of visual disturbance that may present as zigzag lines in your vision. And as well as with signs of meningitis, such as a stiff neck, photophobia, which means sensitivity to light, nausea and vomiting. We can rule in or rule out other potential differentials, um, such as a space occupying lesion, a subarachnoid hemorrhage by taking a lumbar puncture, and, and a CSF culture to test for xanthochromias. Uh, we want to rule out meningitis through taking ESR and lumbar puncture. And there are also other differentials of migraines, such as temporal arteritis, which is also a new onset, um, sudden onset type of headache, but will typically be more common in patients over the age of 50. Um, this, um, the second type of headache is cluster headaches. So these are quite episodic in nature. They typically last between 30 to 50, to 30 minutes to two hours and occur at episodic intervals every four to 12 weeks. The biggest risk factor being alcohol. They present as a headache but that is quite with an intense stabbing pain around the eye. The eye may be also experienced lacrimation, which is increased tears. It can be swollen, red. You might have increased nasal congestion. Your eyelids may droop, rhinorrhea, and the patient may feel quite restlessness. Um, we'd want to investigate it with a neurological exam to um, test for the presentation. Other potential differentials may be acute glaucoma, uh, which would be an increased risk factor in people of Asian descent and would also be associated with other risk factors such as systemic hypertension and diabetes mellitus. We'd also want to rule out giant cell arteritis or another word being trigeminal neuralgia, which would be characterized by an electric like uh, shock like headache with signs of jaw claudication, monoocular blindness, scalp tenderness, and double vision. Now the third type of headache is tension headaches. Now these are a, as the name would suggest, uh, caused by things like stress as well as alcohol use. And there are bilateral headaches, so happen at both ends of the head, and they are typically described as the tight band-like headache uh, that feels like a tightening across the head. Um, we'd also diagnose this with a neurological examination or a CT scan, and other differentials could be medication overuse headache, which would be caused by things um, like NSAIDs, which would reduce the treat tension headaches. So the treatment for e, the, the acute and prophylaxis treatment of the three types of headaches is summarized here. With all three of them, you'd want to start off with lifestyle modification and you'd want to reduce um, the likelihood of the patient encountering triggers. So that can include things like stress management, for things like tension headaches, giving the CBT, um, making sure the patient is sleeping well, having regular uh, and healthy meals, and then the second line would be uh, pharmacological intervention. So for migraines, the acute management is oral NSAIDs or triptans, the most common being sumatriptan. Um, and then the we can also second line use oral NSAIDs and paracetamol. For cluster headaches, after lifestyle modification, we want to try sumatriptan subcut and 100% oxygen. Uh, for tension headaches, we'd want to try NSAIDs or aspirin or paracetamol. In terms of pro long term prevention and prophylaxis, the prophylaxis of migraines first line is propanolol, which is a beta blocker, which would be careful because it would be contraindicated in asthmatics because it can cause bronchospasm in asthmatics. 
Second line would want to give amitriptyline, which is contraindicated if the patient has an MI or heart block. And the third line would give is topiramide, which is contraindicated in women of childbearing age. And for cluster headaches, the prophylaxis would be verapamil. Um, so this diagram kind of just summarizes the management of the three types of headache. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment down in the comment section below. Thank you.